It's crazy to play like that good against top base. teams. Yeah, yeah, like crazy. that's so hard. Like, you to have do. to be you have insane. No, oh, <laughs> you got to be pretty. It is like you have to be you insane have to, be to do it consistent. You have to be turned. How are they always so turned? The space fucking squad. You fucking have to be. Like it's just in their. He's blood just young. Line. He wakes up turned. Like they love this shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hydra's still young. Like, like I feel like, like there's like up. no. They he just love this game. Yeah, like, shit. I can't I wait wake to play. Up, I'm like, well, no. Well, uh, like well, he doesn't do the Hydra doesn't do this. What shit, time man. do we got to scrim? Yeah, yeah. Well, no. Yeah. The difference. Well, he's hopping up out of bed doing a backflip. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> like. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Optic Podcast, episode 158. Joined today by some of the usual sub subjects. Suspects. Suspects. I usual said that suspects. Wrong. Kaiser Soze. Ponde River. Iggy Warrior. <laughs> you guys like the setup? Is this going to be a future thing? No, it can't be. I like the desk because we can all see each other. I love yeah, it. Yeah, what do we? Hold up. First it thoughts, is comfy though. What are we thinking with this new? They it's said y'all are doing it here today. Seth Seth got so excited. Uh yeah. This is this is the watch party set for anybody that doesn't know. And these chairs are way comfier than those. These chairs are great. I just way I, comfier. I feel like for a podcast. I just I like have looking at each other. Sit up. Same. And like when you sit up, you're like more alert. Yep. And here I just like too laid back. To, yeah. You're and relaxed. Too late, yeah. <laughs> Which is good. Too relaxed. No. Which no, is I get good. What, no, I get what he's saying though. Cause that, on the podcast, it is like a little more like you're in uh, you're in the combo more. Right yep. now, I'm just sinking in. Yep. It's like I could go to sleep. Yes. Although it is kind of like a simulation because tomorrow we're gonna be right back here, right back here. Tomorrow. Watch party. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow. Watch party's back. Damn. Tomorrow. No rank. No nothing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the days are That's blending together. That's a buggy cause, isn't it? I'll be compensating. <clears throat> Now we have good matches though. We have Optic Heretics tomorrow and then Optic Phase Sunday, so But yeah, are, are it, you salty though? Yeah, I'm fucking salty. I gotta fucking I I wanna play we're having set I wanna set up here during the watch party. And we're gonna play. Like you wanna be able to play during rank mid watch we'll party? Just click over and write we're streaming rank. I don't know if that's possible, yeah, but I'm down on YouTube. Imagine we have setups in front of us, like just fucking we we watch a match. Don't, don't even watch the don't, stage. Yeah, don't even watch it. <laughs> don't even, don't even watch no it. interview right to rank. Take a stage behind us like we did for that one video. I mean, we might. Or stream. The, we have the stage behind the us. And we, have this, we just walk back and just all land up. <laughs> That'd be fine. I mean, shit, we might have to after the, the rank delay yesterday. I mean, holy shit. Let's talk about that. I mean, that's that should be number one. I mean, yesterday, everyone's it's hype. Everyone's ass. excited. Not only did they break ranked, they broke Warzone while they were at it. Yeah, I just realized yesterday I played seven hours of Warzone, buying my own guns, yeah. having no perks, running slow as shit. And I was like, I can't believe I just put myself through that. I mean, it wasn't terrible. No, I still had fun. I just love Warzone. Besides, so I love Warzone. What else did they? They fucked up the loadouts. What else did they mess up um, with Warzone? The, uh, the loadouts. Menus are fucked. Menus oh yeah, were your fucked. menus. But what besides mine, loadouts? None of that. I never had. No, I guess it was. Oh, the airstrikes. Airstrikes. Oh strikes. yeah. <laughs> oh my god I, I want to know the fucking the nerdness of what makes this the, like coding like what makes this stuff break well how how does it work you do an update now it doesn't work like five different things i mean i can't even plug my stream in half the time so i mean the you know i mean do, i could see how it could fuck what goes on behind <laughs> the scenes who knows but i feel like so apparently, they, I guess they tested rank play yesterday for critical bugs, and they found one. But it's like, how was that not tested? Like, I'm not sure if it was the holiday break or whatever did it, but all I know is the entire competitive I mean, I community guess was let down yesterday. We're talking about rank, bro. You know how this shit goes. You lag out, you lose SR. They got to figure that out. All that annoying shit. Imagine if there was a critical bug and all the our ranks well, got some fucked or think, something. Like, some people think that they can't figure out the CDL modes. Oh yeah. Like so every other game we're getting in, we're losing SR because of a bug or no, like something. Listen, I mean, at that I, point, I'd rather. I get it, but they've had months to work on it. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I agree with that. First and foremost, I, I, I think it's all of our opinions that rank should launch on uh, like the first day the game's out. But it never will. But I think it's like, well, it some should. people think it's like a marketing ploy where it it's is. like, it yeah. Be. So the, they, they, they offset delay it. All of their, all of their yeah. releases. And so, it makes sense. If I were them, it makes a lot of sense. You want to keep. 
Because if it was, if they released everything at once, it'd be dumb. And the, there was just there'd be no hype built throughout the year. The game so. would die. Wait, in three, that's four why. Months. Wait, no, that wasn't why. But was the game not running smoother yesterday for you guys? Well, like I felt, it was it, like, I, felt I felt like I it could was see. Like, better. It felt more optimized. Yeah, it felt like better. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I was yeah. getting more frames. I was for sure. I was getting like 190, 200 sometimes, and that never happened before. I was getting like consistent, like 140 to was, 160. Yeah, there was like no frame issues yesterday. Maybe maybe something right. Sometimes lower than that. Yesterday I was getting like 190, like 200 at sometimes. I don't know, man. They also changed the entire game. So like, if you're a competitive yeah, challengers so player, you're going to Boston. The entire game is different. They changed hills. They changed spawns. They changed weapons. Like, it's kind of been. Uh, a thing that's always been around where it feels like the game always changes tenfold like right before events but I, I feel for them because the game is like I was playing competitive all day yesterday I've been playing competitive instead of Warzone really and uh, the entire game has changed like everything spawns hills some of the hills are the worst I've ever seen some hills are good um, which ones are good and bad because you played we I'm waiting for ranked terminal got better because they moved the burger <clears throat> burger was unbreakable and now burger you can like contest from front a little bit they also moved, so P1 is now in library instead of that side yeah. escalator area. So the escalator hill is done. Um, Dreams is kind of OP. Dreams is like outside of Dreams now, like by the desk, so it's just a god heady. Uh -huh. And then P5 is by like the cop car, bottom of the orange ramp. That was like yeah, three yeah. little squares, so that's where P5 is. So terminal, terminal actually got better. They called that shit apron in the, I was reading the patch notes, and I was going through it with my stream, and I was trying to like... There it is. And they called that apron. What, the ramp? Yeah, it said P5 Apron. I was like, why the fuck, fuck is that? Why didn't they just call it Cop? What the hell? Called Apron. But yeah, so this is uh, this is Burger now. So at least you can contest from like that front pillar now. You can hug that front pillar. Yeah. So I mean, it's a little more even. Oh, this is this one's tough to break because if you have someone... Wa like the guy in Hill can just stay down and you can't be killed from anywhere besides playing. So if you just have red control, then you're pretty much set. But yeah, I do think Terminal got better because Terminal was very rotation terminal heavy was, before. Terminal was shit. Terminal was I have your cross, yeah. In a nutshell, for for pretty much all of it, yeah. Um, I mean, we we can we can go through all of them if we want. All I mean, the, all the hills that changed. I mean, sub base has also got I think a little better because no more sub. Eh, actually, I don't know if sub base got better to be honest. P three hill got changed, but number four is now just a guy. I mean, dude, it's all god headies over there by river. And then P two they extended a tiny bit. P five is the same. P three is interesting. Because P3 is just hard to hold now. Because you have to hold top snow and yeah. left and right and mid tunnel. And you just don't have... You're going to get outnumbered on one of the lanes and they're just going to come kill you. It's like a guessing game. You kind of got to get information and yeah, fucking... But I actually want to go back to this rank thing. Sorry, because it's actually very... Like, I feel... That's like what we were all looking forward to, right? Like, obviously, you guys have been on Warzone and I've been stepping away from Warzone a little bit. But, like, the plan was the boys are back on ranked pretty much every single day we're streaming. That's like what we essentially want to do daily yeah so to see it delayed is is disheartening granted i would rather them delay it and give us a better product than release some bullshit where like you said there's bugs or whatever but it's still like you know this is coming out for a while i'm not sure if it was the holiday break but something's got to give when it comes to prioritizing the competitive scene at least sometimes with something like this like because ranked is big like i know people who aren't in the competitive scene like hometown friends or or people I've talked to that actually play ranked, even though they're not really involved in the competitive scene. Yeah. Yeah, there's a BZ. He said the whole game just changed. It It makes a lot of sense. Um, and I'm saying that sarcastically. They, they love doing this. They love waiting for a week out from a major event for the CDL. They know there's a major event coming out. Obviously, this won't affect the pros because the pros are on a special build of the game and they'll just be put on the old patch and then they'll have a couple weeks leading into the second split of matches to practice on this new game. But, like, the Challengers players just get bent over. Like, they're, they are, it's, it used to be bad, like, with changes. Like, they change a couple things. They literally changed the whole game. This yeah. one, th this one's crazy. They changed a full game, a, a full game mode. They didn't touch control, right? They didn't touch search. No, I don't think so. So they basically just changed a full game mode, but it's one of the harder Probably one of the hardest game modes to get down is hard point in Honestly, terms of rotations and setups. And If you're not one of those top three teams, though, you're probably excited. Because you have, like, right now, challengers have been dominated by, like, ASIM's team. Um, the EU team is, they're playing in a different region, but that's probably the best team in challengers on paper is the EU team of, like, Hixie, Bance, Beans, and Nasty. 
But uh, so Asim's team, Fellow's team, yeah, they're doing construction above us. If you guys could hear that. So there's been teams dominating challengers, and now I feel like this throws a wrench in things because now, I mean, it it, it, it it's like the game just came out kind of. I mean, if when you but change yeah. that much in hardpoint, it's literally like day one. They nerfed the guns. So MCW, now it's like who, they nerfed. Who can get I, ahead I, quick? Oh, you, the rivals. The ray gun is fucking crazy. They buffed the rival. The sub is crazy. It's actually nuts. I mean, they literally came in and just chopped it. They just chopped it. I think that's based off, like, feedback? Or is it just some random shit? Like, they didn't even... Did people know they were going to make changes like that? No. Have okay, they ever, on. like, moved hills and we shit? We kind of assumed they were going to make some changes, but not like that. Like, they literally... Of course, like, a buff and a nerf, but to, like, change hill spots and shit. Oh, wait, sorry. That I just remembered P4 Invasion is the worst thing I've seen in my entire life. Where's it at? It's in, like, the mid-courtyard. But why do they do that? You can that? be seen from <laughs> anywhere. Yeah, it's why like, do they I'm do not that? It's, it's, it is impossible to hold. Dude, it is hilarious. Cause, and you get lateral but spawns. Stuff. But no, Nick, to your point, uh, well, like I was going to ask. Yeah, do they base it off, like, feedback? Like, why do they do these changes? And then you see that hill in the middle of fucking... Nowhere, dude. Yeah. Now, that's, that yeah, was not well, asked for. It can be for. seen by everything in that the middle of the map. For. Like... Who, are, who the fuck crazy. makes these decisions? Like, are people complaining that it's, like, not flowing right? Like, Well, when guns are changed in multiplayer, are they is, are the same changes in Warzone? Or no, are, or are they different? they're not. Oh, Yesterday, okay. I was they're going different. through the patch notes, and my chat was fucking tweaking on me. I was, like, I was going through the notes, and I was like, wait, because I knew the MCW got nerfed. Yeah. So I'm going through the patch notes, and on Warzone, it, it, it went through, like, all the MCW changes, and I'm like, this has to be the same for multiplayer, right? Like, and then, literally, I went over... They have a separate multiplayer patch note board. Okay. And basically, it was the same exact thing. Like, there's a couple changes that are different on Warzone compared to multi, but they're basically the same thing. Well, you'd think that they would buff it in Warzone, right? Because the MCW is not really good in Warzone. Correct. So, So, did they buff it or did they nerf it? That's a good question. I guess that's what... Cause I've never even what seen I read, what I'm asking I think is... It was about the, the, I think it was the same for both. Well, because well, my point is, you would think that they prioritize Warzone. So you would think that guns in multiplayer that are getting buffed or nerfed are because of Warzone. Okay, so, it got buffed in, in Warzone, so I'm okay, just wrong. Okay, so that makes sense. So it gets nerfed in multiplayer, buffed in Warzone, which I the MC, MCW is still yesterday. good, but the rival is crazy. Ooh, and I actually group. don't know what they base it off. I'm not sure if they base it off pub data. I'm not sure if they... I, I doubt it's the competitive community. Oh, it got in, increased. In okay, yeah, I was thinking of that. But, uh... But then you look at some of the, the, but then you look at like, look at the Cyclone and the Regal Heavy Stock, which is what they fucked with on multiplayer as well. Uh, they also mess with the, the Sprint to Fire time. But like, look, like, it's basically the same shit, no? I mean, yeah, pretty much. But what I'm confused about is they, sh they, sh they should honestly buff the MCW in Warzone a lot. Because what's the meta now? Do you guys even know the new meta? Uh, yeah, it's the same shit. It's the same thing. Same, it's the same, same shit. The guns shit. are just a little worse. Oh, like yeah, the, I, the pulley, I thought they would try changing the pulley. It up a bit. You can notice the difference. Pulley MTZ still good as fuck. But like the pulley, you can notice like a time to kill difference. Like I, you can. I don't notice think I used it. it much yesterday. The MTZ, not really. The TAC Eradicator. Uh, yeah, I didn't really notice any. You can notice. Yesterday. Um, and then the sub is still the swarm. Yeah. Still the swarm striker. People are still using all the same shit. So it was a, uh, I don't want it to switch up. I don't know how people keep like these streamers that have, I mean, obviously it's their job and they make good money off of it, especially the top Warzone streamers. But like, how do, I'm fucking, I feel bored of Warzone already. Really? A little bit. Like I was excited ranks coming out because Warzone is just like, I don't know. It's just the same shit. You ho hopefully win your gunfights off rip. Then it's just balloon fight, balloon fight, dive on, dive on different teams. It does get fun. There are games that are really fun, yeah. but then there's other games where it's just like, dude, I've been sprinting around for 10 minutes, maybe getting a gunfight or two. Yeah, I, there guess he is. So I, I was coming around towards my, my mindset. I'm hoping for like a meta <laughs> change or something. Coming around. Warzone hater? Yo, BPL tomorrow? Not, not necessarily a war. Well, first off, I'm pissed off because I'm moving. So I'm not going to be able to even play. If rank drops today or whatever, I'm not even going to be able to play. Everyone's going to be getting their ranked. I'm not going to be able to play with them because people are going to be like too high rank. Yeah, you got a solo queue to Then I'm solo up. queue and then people are in the chat asking to play. I'm playing with fucking Inspired and other fucks on my stream. They're so excited. <laughs> They're carrying me. <laughs> and I don't know.
I don't even remember what I was talking about before this. Horizontal. But yeah, a bad a bad time to be moving with rank dropping. Yeah. But I'm, but I was excited for it cuz I'm also getting a little bored of Warzone. I wanted to like I don't know, switch up. Even though it BPL, hasn't even been wager, out long, but I'm something. just like, dude, this is the same shit. Like, I'm just getting, my focus is not there when I play. The reason when I, I like. When I was first playing with y'all, I was like, trying to focus, get better. It was interesting. What gun do I want to use? I'm just like, I don't care. I'm losing more gulags the more I play because I don't <laughs> care. I care less. <laughs> and it's just, that's where I'm at with everything. That's fair. But I dude, I still do think that Warzone is the best it's ever been since for dance though. Like I do <laughs> It is fun. I actually think this Warzone is solid. I like it. Yeah. I just I do like it. The reason I've been grinding multiplayer, I mean, I guess I've always been a competitive Call of Duty guy at heart, but like I feel like when you lose in Warzone, it's just raising rage inducing where it's like you were camped on or you got killed by four people. Whereas if I lose in competitive, I can like pinpoint exactly why. Okay, we got out rotated there. I lost this fight, whatever. Like I feel like there's more like there's control. more controllables and competitive that like where when I'm raging, I'm raging because I did something wrong or my shit teammate did something wrong. Whereas in Warzone, anything could happen. I get yeah. precision airstrike, it didn't pop That's up on my I fucking like screen, <laughs> yeah. and I rage. That's why I like it though. It's like the the versatility and diversity of every single game. Like competitive is the same thing. Oh yeah, and yeah, over yeah. And over. Like Warzone, yes, you yeah. never know what's gonna happen. You could be getting bomb droned. You could get silent precisioned and rage. Like you just never know. <laughs> Never know. You could land like, big blue, have a great, great game. The big blue, big or blue, you could land big blue and eight off see the rip, nothing. You're feeling good. And, yeah, yeah. Six. I'm about to have you're a great game. Up, That's what keep... we say. But we land big blue, maybe get a kill or two if yeah, anyone's there, and then we like just start flying away. We're like, well, I don't see anyone. Hit the nope. balloon. Nobody we got rank, regular was fun guns. When everyone was like spread out, we would like, and then meet up at the end. <laughs> And then that's we, pretty and much then how we, it goes. We all die at the same time. We always yeah. die at the same time. And then the it's end. just squad limit. We're like, what? I'll <laughs> die, and then like it'll be like two of us up, and then I'll die, and then it's like every time we both die at the same time, and then it's just I just die, and I come out of my death screen, and it says squad, squad eliminated. eliminated. I'm like, what the? F <laughs> I love, I love it. I love it. Personally, I love it. I enjoy Warzone, and thank God, because I was never like that into Warzone. But thank God I got something to play. Because I was a little worried once, like, Warzone came out. All I've ever done was, like, solo stream. So to have, like, a squad I can play with, it makes my streams and days, like, so much better. 100%. The vibes we're looking for, man, oh, right here there. comes ranked. We got Boston coming up. <clears throat> yeah, Boston uh, next week. I had, like, I had, we leave in, like, I had, five days. I had someone ask me yesterday, how do you even, do you even know, <coughs> so, so we're going to Boston, but I was, obviously have the watch party, but you're doing the 1v1s again. How do you, is it the same thing, like a raffle type? You probably don't even know, do you? Yeah, I think it's a raffle again. So it's like the same thing, the crowd, it's, they get a, a ticket, and then you can get called up? Okay, I got yeah, you. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's, it's like a ticket, and then I think it's an hour long, and we just go through, we try to get through as many matches as we can. So it'll probably be, it'll probably come out to like, I would say... Six to ten matches, depending on how fast we're getting people through. Because gotcha. it's actually interesting, because the first time we did it, we were kind of free. We didn't really have, like, I mean, we just didn't have, like, time constraints. This time, it's the first day of the event. And it's, like, I think yeah. it's from, like, 12 to 1. And then the watch party starts at 2.30 Eastern. Or maybe it's maybe it's an hour pushed back because it's Eastern. But it's, yeah. like, I, I know that it's, like, right pushed up with... It's in line, like, with the watch party. Okay. Gotcha. Damn, y'all got the CDL this weekend. And then when do you go to Boston? The, when, the, when, the Tuesday or Wednesday after. That, what day next week? Tuesday or Wednesday. God we damn. Yet. And then we're there until so Monday. So fuck, fuck y'all's Twitch. Yeah, no, that's the... See, that's my <laughs> biggest worry, man. <laughs> Dude, that's... Oh, that it sucks. That is, is tragic. I yeah, mean, people are like, why does it matter what you're streaming on? And it's like, <laughs> imagine you worked for a year to build yeah. up your Twitch and like have a community and then half your days get taken. I mean, not even a year, like just building your brand and everyone knows set Gump streams on Twitch. Like it's just the known thing. Yeah. And then to that, just now half of your days of the month are now gone on a different platform. Yep. I mean, at least they, they go well though. Yeah, like no, when you switch to YouTube well. and do and do this stuff, it's fun. We were just we were just so spoiled last year. We've been it talking that about a lot. Like yeah. I mean, last year we were just like the perfect storm. I mean, it was it was On the Twitch. communities that we've built, right? So like, it was it was perfect, man. Yeah, on Twitch, fucking, it was beautiful. 
It was great, man. Because now it, now it does feel like at least it's tough to take days off because you're losing so much time now on Twitch that you want to like be live on Twitch. Like a usual off day is now spent on Twitch because you're trying to like offset the time you're losing. So Actually, I know it's... Uh... It's kind of, it's just annoying because, like, uh, well, probably more, obviously more for Seth. It's just crazy how, like, fucking, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Whatever, I, I don't even want to get into it. I was talking with Nameless last night. We were just bullshitting. And, like, but. He's giving me wanna, blue balls. I want to hear it. I know. Not fucking starting a riot around this bitch. Come on, man. That's, that's what we need. That's I'll start literally a, what we need. I'll for start views. a riot. I can't believe the Warzone versus CDL thing's still real. Dude, I'm tired. Ooh, no, that's not even. That's a, no, that's a fake riot. This is, that's a fake fucking riot. They People think they who, can kill I don't think they bro. do. I don't think they actually the only, think that. Like I said, my only issue with the whole thing is I don't know how deep the CD or the Warzone people th take the game. Like, I don't know how deep they think. I know. Like, you know, I know what I'm thinking about in the S&D round. I know, like, if this guy throws a detonate, I could run by it or use my detonate to push him and make him peek no, out. No, there's definitely like, a lot shit. of, like... I'm I'm sure there is, but, like... Right, rather, I don't, know. don't even play this awful opinion, please. Yeah, fuck. These guys are fucking brain dead. These, that, <laughs> what I heard don't from even, them was, like, play. what I would hear from someone with a Twitter with no profile pic... They just made the account and they're like shit talking to you. Nate said like, just like right spewing here. nonsense just to like, I don't, it's just like, you have to remind yourself, wow, people like this do exist. Like they, there are people out there with this brain that think like this and believe this. I can't blame them because it, like, it worked. If they don't believe it, it will. I, I think those guys actually do believe what they said, but essentially they were just this podcast. They were just like playing in the, in Warzone is harder than playing in the CDL. And I'm just like, dude, do you not understand? Can you yeah. imagine play? Go spawn in then why wouldn't the Warzone players the switch team. over? See, the thing about Warzone is that all the teams in their lobbies are not good. There's like there's some teams that are like heavy yeah, stacked, yeah. and then there's some teams that and like you, you see on the map like and you're yesterday? like run at them. Like and yesterday, CDL, when we you're were not fucking. Getting, there's like bad teams in the CDL, but they're not like that bad. There's I mean, no they're freebies. playing tournaments in. There's no freebies. I mean, never mind. I don't want to shit talk. The reality I mean, I is, the listen, like, I don't want to like. Like I, I and the RNG in Warzone, you could get stuck by a fucking drill charge and just blow up, which is the <laughs> same. But like Warzone is like you could that could happen. It's to you one so time. RNG. Like Warzone drone. players are still very skilled, but like when you're talking about CDL, the difference is any any single CDL pro right now can go pro in Warzone, whereas the opposite is not the same. Not every Warzone pro. There are a, a few outliers in Warzone that if they dedicated time, they have the talent that they could go pro. But it's still it's no not, guarantee. They, it's it's not impossible. No, My correct. only argument yesterday was the fact that Scump won their tournament, and I know it was easy for him. Yeah, people always use that. Well, here's the other I argument mean, that someone tweeted me, and I was like, holy fuck, yeah, I'm done talking about this. They're like, Tommy's the number one earner. Yeah, former CDL. CDL. That's all I needed to hear. Rated was, I was running. Like, I didn't even know that. <laughs> Never mind. Rated was running Dover. shit. There is no yeah. divorce. It's dude. basically, and to to be honest, I actually don't think any Warzone player thinks this way. I think it's all like Warzone fans. I don't think like any player is like disrespecting CDL at all. Yeah, like, everyone's I've never like, seen a player oh, like, do a show match. It's not possible, man. I mean, War, the Warzone pros, pros no, bro. It's we'll just slammed the, in Warzone. The idiot Warzone fan. The Warzone pros, no. I mean, some of them. Are none of them like, are that. I mean, there, some of them are probably delusional in their head. I respect it, but they're also completely different games. Like, yeah, they're different. It's a different skill set. It's a different game. They're not even comparable. Like, one is a BR and one's an arena fucking shooter. They're not. They're not comparable. It's Call of Duty at the end of the day, but they're not comparable. They are completely different assets. They did set this puts it in perspective. Say you land low town on Urzikstan, take the size of that drop zone, and now cut that whole area in half. You just spawned in there for 10 minutes against four players as good or better than Biffle and try to get in a hill for 250 seconds before they do. No smokes, no third parties, you just squaring up against four of the best players in the world. Would you rather do that on stage for 1 million or would you rather run for 20 minutes on a map the size of Narnia, avoiding gunfights and praying to God you get circle pull on final zone? Honest and sincere question. He fucking cooked with that one. <laughs> he, he I think, I yeah, think that was, they, those guys were like responding to him as that well. That was great. <clears throat> but yeah. I mean, it, this, it's the simple fact if the Warzone pros are better or whatever, they would switch to CDL. That's not true because they probably make more money 
playing Warzone and being able to stream because the CDL oh, is yeah. a, it's a very big time commitment. Unless you're like Fuck a top yeah. CDL player and getting like an actual like a good like top salary in the CDL, like it, it wouldn't even make sense for them because CDL yeah. pros you can't stream for seven hours of the day. Warzone players you can stream anytime you want. Like you, like, in the grand scheme of things, Warzone players probably winning, but I mean, I don't know how much but Warzone pros like are as making, far but. as like b being able to play their game and make money all day and make a career out of it. Like, I mean, sure, like the CDL pros are getting a salary, but like big Warzone streamers compared to like yeah, yeah they're making they're making a, you know you get what I'm saying more yeah, yeah yeah they're making they're probably making more just because not being able to stream and not being able to produce any content throughout the day and you're only worried about scrimming like yeah doesn't even make sense for Warzone players to do it, at least the top ones. But yeah, then I would the say top the ones top are the only ones, ones that could actually do it. I'm sure it yeah. falls yeah. off. I'm sure exactly. the money falls very quick after the top. <laughs> what do you like, mean? In, 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 in CDL, like the top do get paid really well, but even like it falls quick in the CDL. Too. Yeah, it falls way faster. But in the there's CDL. like a middle section that makes like pretty good money. There and is I bet a middle the, section. Well, that's getting corrected. Let's just say, uh, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, that's gonna salary. get corrected too. I feel like the CDL salaries are gonna like see a dip. Yeah. I, I believe so as well. I also don't think but the what I just don't think the middle of the war zone pros, the ones we probably don't even know of, like we don't know their names. Like I don't, I, I, I bet they I, only I make think earnings. I, I'm telling you because I mean hitting, they might make. Oh yeah, no, they're sure. hitting TikTok, wars, fucking Twitch, That's YouTube. Saying, I mean they're banging. The top is probably better. Yeah, they're to probably be doing well. They're doing great. They're doing all but right. But it just I don't think what people I don't think talk about enough is the actual mental toll that competing in the CDL takes. Like it's just like. Playing in Warzone compared to playing in CDL is like a night and day difference. You have one bad game in the CDL and your job's on the line. There's like a mental snowball where you're worried about your performance. And then if you're not playing well in scrims, that can compound. It's like there are so many players and challengers that are literally pro players now. If you look at challengers now, top to bottom, right now it's being ran by former pros who were in the league last year. Like you screw up one or two matches, you're on the chopping block. Whereas in Warzone, it's like... You can have a bad day of Warzone, and then the next day of Warzone be totally fine. You drop in and you, <laughs> you drop a, a, a Just PR, right? So like, it's it's, it's apples to oranges, really, because the actual mental toll of like worrying about your job day in and day out as a CDL pro. Granted, there are some players like if you're on Atlanta Phase or Optic, if you're on a top four team, you're okay. But you know what I mean? Like if you're mid to low tier, low mid to low tier in the most prestigious league in Call of Duty. Um, you're worried. Always sometimes. worried. Yo, I actually have a question for y'all. All right, so I watched a movie yesterday, right? I can't remember. It. Something of snow or a plane crashed in, like, the mountains. Yeah. But you, you watched, like, the dub, like, the dubbed version? Yeah, it was, like, where the movie. They, they were speaking in English, but they're not English. No, I, I watched, like, the English version. Well, it was English, but it's, like, their mouths aren't moving the exact same. I don't even. I was, was it on Netflix? <laughs> yeah. It was buttered. Yeah. Okay. It was. What was um, it? Fuck. What's it called? Because that was a that was so, a pretty good one. Something of snow. Something. Yeah. So the plane crashed, right? And they said this is a true story. And the real story: sixty out of seventy-two people survived. Seventy or no, I capped. I just made something. Up. It was Society seventy-two of days. The snow. Yeah, they survived seventy-two days in the mountains. <clears throat> Midday, hundred degrees. At night, negative eighty. It was it was an insane story. They had Wait, to no way! Eating. It was a hundred. <laughs> they had to eat the dead. They had to eat the dead people. Is this movie good? No, th this is a true story. So a no, plane, yeah, a plane of story. like rugby players were like flying somewhere. The plane crashed, fucking ripped in half. Like crashed in, like not like right into the mountain, but it like crashed, boom, broke in half, slid down the whole fucking mountain. Some people flew out right when I crashed. Some uh, most people like some people had broken legs. Some flew people down the fucking... mountain with the plane. And then the plane stopped and like people started waking up and they're like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" And they they're realizing they just crashed in the middle of this rando mountain. And then they're 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 freezing. I don't know how hot it was. It, during the day, it's like eighty to one hundred degrees. Eighty but at to one hundred. How is it? But how is it eighty to a mountain range? How do you how do you survive negative eighty? Isn't that, that like that temperature bro, you can't survive? That was oh, oh, my only thing about the whole thing is like, holy fuck! It was at night, it must have been I want to see insane. the temperatures though. I don't think it was. Yeah, I don't uh, believe like, it was eighty to hundred degrees no, in the day. What, I'm serious. They were out well, there in the no desert. Shitter. That's possible. I don't think negative eighty is possible because the Chiefs and Dolphins just played with negative twenty four degree wind chill. 
And they were like, or, yeah, even 59 feels like fucking 80 after that. It wasn't that. hitting 100. Hey, well, well, it still moving. feels great. That feels like 100 after fucking negative whatever yeah. it is. Wait, That's well, still crazy. It was ne- still negative crazy. 60. This is. Oh, yeah. 41 to 59. You're like. But they're still in zero degrees. It was snowing. Outside. Wind. It, it's snowing. I mean, you're like, fuck yeah. You're at the top of the. degrees. That feels great after negative 20. Yes. You're like, you're like, but yeah. then I don't think there oh, was. I don't think there was much sunlight. 100%. I don't understand. I, I want to watch this movie now because I don't understand how they even like uh, survived. Fatalities they, 29, survivor. Oh, survivors 16. They were eating. Brother, yes. They had oh, you. You have God. to. I mean, that's, oh, that's awful to think about. There's, they would have they died. Yeah. I mean, they ate, they ate all of the food that they had on the plane. Then they were like, this is our only option. And this was like, the might have been like bodies. two weeks into the crash. Ugh. But just living in that cold and the sun probably doesn't even come Whoever out that often. Whoever proposed that idea, he would have been like, we got to eat out of hit him. What the fuck? He they might eat you. First. Yeah, yeah. Don't bring that up again. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> hit him right in the back. What the fuck yeah. did you say? <laughs> so the question you is, if you, cr- if you were in this scenario, yeah. would you would- eat the... The All right, meat you want to know my of honest opinion? Dead friends. You'll never know till you're in the situation. Yeah. That's, <clears throat> that's yeah. True. yeah. At that I mean, point, it's all human instinct. I mean, all, all like of them did. It's survival. A, it was like a. There no one, some no one chose, like, I ain't doing that. <laughs> like, all of it. It was 100% <laughs> eat human sh- rate. That is fucking So I think crazy. it's safe to say when you're. I saw, like, an interview of a dude who's, like, yeah, talking 60 about now it. or something. Were, were they, the, like, cooking it, like, <clears throat> over fire? No. I don't think so. Play by play? Brother, well, I mean, yeah, because they didn't have fire. I, 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 I actually just have so a lot many of crazy comments. There's like, who's gonna <clears throat> cut the body up? Someone's like, I'll do it. Just like human like. popsicle leg. <laughs> oh. Just gonna chop a body up out here. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's fucking. Crazy. I don't even know if they had like an axe or anything. They were eat, they were so hungry to start eating cigarettes. Really? <laughs> oh, all they were. Is all it they a good were. Movie. It was pretty good. Was right. It is like a dub version. To where like they're speaking English, but you know they're actual. I didn't. I don't know. I don't know. I think it was mine was in like the platform. Yes. Every that? yes. I'm not sure if I know how to pick them, but every movie I watch that's in like a different language, yeah, like Korean like or, or 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 German, is always impeccable. I just watched. Uh, yeah. I just watched Old Boy, which is like one of the most Ooh. fucked up movies I've seen in my entire life. But it's an incredible Korean movie. You watched the original one though. Yeah, the have Korean you seen one. the American? No, I heard a dog shit. I won't watch it. Really? Yeah. I fucking loved it. Which, I haven't seen name? the Korean one because oh, the no. American to, one was no. so good. You have to watch the Korean one, dude. It was. Cr- it's like the twist is insane. You just saw that? Yeah, for well, the first time, yeah. dude. It's so when that happened. I mean, I'm assuming the twist at the. I don't want to. I kind of want to watch it now. It. Should I watch it? Wait, dude, yeah. It's Any, like, I feel like I could, it's one of the best movies I've seen. Like, it stuck with me. Like, that was a good fucking I mean, all movie. those. Just the twist at the end is fucking insane. It's crazy. It's sickening. Those top Korean movies are good. Like, Memories of Murder, Parasite. Uh, anybody watching, if you have any, like, recommendations for, like, other movies that aren't English, please I don't let think, me know. So I, I just, just like movies know. where I can't predict it. I used to watch shit that was like over like in different countries because I don't think they have censorship. So I used to be watching like Geordie Shore and shit. Like uh, <laughs> you could see everything. Yeah, no, it's why they don't. They don't have censorship. Right. Wait. In the movie, like on shows, like TV. So they, like whenever they, they just, censor something on Jersey Shore, you just say for that. Knockers on TV. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> 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 on TV. <laughs> he was watching for knockies. Jersey Shore knockies. <laughs> This episode of the podcast was brought to you by FanDuel. Optic and FanDuel are teaming up to offer almost everyone a free 2024 Optic Gaming jersey. All you have to do is sign up for FanDuel at FanDuel.com slash Optic Jersey. Make a $20 first-time deposit and wager on any sport available on FanDuel Sportsbook. To be eligible to receive a free, clean version of our brand new 2024 jersey, along with $150 in bonus bets guaranteed. After placing your bet, make sure to check your email to follow instructions on how to claim your jersey. Don't wait to miss out on this limited time offer. Sign up for FanDuel and place your bet now. You have to use the link or you are not eligible. That's FanDuel.com slash Optic Jersey to claim our newest jersey for 2024. This episode of the podcast is also brought to you by Shopify. I personally love Shopify. Uh, if you're familiar, my Better Days Ahead company uses Shopify. It gives you everything you need to know from top to bottom for growth and um, learning your business a little better. So 
personally uh, use Shopify almost daily to track our our uh, our statistics and whatever we have going on. It's a global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business from the launch, your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million order stage. Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap, clothing, outdoor outfits, whatever it may be, it helps you sell everywhere. Um, it's an all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify has you covered. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms and sell more with less effort thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce e in the U.S. and Shopify is the global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's, and Brooklinen and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries. Plus, Shopify's award-winning help is there to support your success every step of the way because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash optic, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash optic now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in shopify.com slash optic this episode of the podcast is also brought to you by cheese it do you need a snack to fuel your gaming sessions look no further than cheese it duos crackers because two flavors are better than one made with 100 percent real cheeses and baked to crispy crunchy perfection cheese it duos are our cheesiest gaming snack visit cheese it.com to find a store near you and keep the game going uh, Majority you are stupid, sure. man. Congrats oh. on one year retirement, man. Oh yeah. Wow, what is a, what a fucking here? segue, man. How do you feel? Uh no well, different, honestly. Everyone brought up the uh the clip of you beating me on hotel yesterday. I mean, I yeah, getting, it's part of his re this is the last game. You're getting tagged in history. Oh yeah, and shit on Zen your way out. Ha <laughs> ha yeah. I in made the, some serious strides. In that video, I have the jewel in my hand. Yeah, you were filthy for a bit, man. I, I have, I've made some serious The retirement strides. speech with the jewel in hand? Dude, in hand? Well, I didn't have it in hand then. Oh. Uh, but, like, but yeah, I was fucking... No, that actually would have funny. But I made some strides, man. Uh, it, doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't feel like... It feels different, obviously, like my day-to-day. -day. Um, I think it feels very different, really. Oh, yeah, no, it's very different. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad that... Looking back, I'm glad that I did it. Like, yeah. when I did it. I felt like it was a good time. Brandon yeah, was on shot, the bench. The shot was getting a little loose. Well, like, I didn't... My, my biggest thing Scrims was... I, I kept harder. saying, I don't want to leave the team in a bad situation. So, like, we brought Kyler in, obviously. Oh, and then we played We played with Kyler for a bit with Ender still. I saw how Ant and Kyler kind of worked together, and Brandon was still on the bench, and obviously there was some shit going on there, but... um, I mean, we just hashed it out and just had a conversation, and... I felt like it was for the the betterment of the team because Brandon play was playing my role that I had to now learn mid season because yeah. shit was going wrong, and it just kind of worked. So I'm I'm happy that I made the decision because so, I was tweaking when I was doing it. I was like, should I do it? Is now the right time? But I feel like <laughs> I feel like it was like a good time. Well, for it to happen, it's actually like. Realistically, you could have been on any team. Like I, when you were talking just now, I was thinking about, damn, what if we never? What if you never joined Optic back when you went or on Envy and like you took another route? You were gonna leave Envy. We know that would happen. You think so? Envy, oh yeah, you'd have probably been on Complexity or something. Well, no, right now, if you didn't, if you didn't have like roots in Optic and like this hasn't been your life, and you were just like a player, I don't know, like let's say like a scrappy or someone who wasn't like I don't know, popular and like rooted into Optic. Right now, if if you are someone who's going to like team to team and like bouncing around to top teams, you'd probably be on like a New York or like a phase right now. Right now? Right now you'd be on Or like you would have been or I don't I don't know about right now at this moment. It's yeah. very hard to say. But yeah, not right now, like, but let's say um If you were a young gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he was a young gun. Well like like Black Ops an or universe where I joined Cole. Yeah, no. They I called heard about me that. in Black Ops Two. While I, I had to step outside and be like, "What the fuck? Why are you calling me?" Can we? I've seen. Can we stop? How many times are we going to watch this same average yeah, ass Riley clip? Uh, it was same, not average. Even I do my ass clip. clip. Y'all got three pieces into got, four pieces, yeah. and then you said, "Oh my God, Zen got shit on." <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, I have a serious question for you, though, actually. It's been a year. I uh, feel good. What's up? Do you, uh, do you feel like anything's missing, or are you, like, completely at ease with your decision? Like, cause it, so at least for me, just to preface, like, it feels like the days blend together now, whereas, like, it's hard to quantify progress because it's all, like, streaming or making videos, you're on camera. Like, it's hard to quant... When you're scrimming, you're playing well or you're not playing well. You're individually playing well or you're not. It's hard to quantify, like, actual... I guess, progression day to day. Yeah. So like, do you feel like anything's missing with your retirement? No. I mean, I, see this, that's the thing. Like when I retired, I knew that I was fine retiring. Like if there was any doubt in me that I didn't want to do it, I wouldn't have done it. Yeah. But I was like, again, it was like a perfect, it was like a perfect storm of everything. It was like a perfect storm. Tyler and Ant looked <coughs> great on the sub duo, so I was like, okay, I'm on flex. This is going well. I was still frying as a flex. Let's not get the let's not get this tangled up either. Wait, you were in at the and retirement? And we had Brandon on the bench. I was still I wasn't still in Boston. I was still playing. Big fuck. He retired without letting me know. You could have you could have flew in. I didn't know. He didn't tell me until he the day of. He said check Twitter. He we were gonna scrim him, and he goes check Twitter. And you immediately called him. <laughs> No, what the I fuck happened. No, I text. Well, no, I mean he's an asshole for jumping the gun, but it's all right. I forgive you. Uh, well, no, because we were gonna scrim them, and they were late by ten minutes, yeah, and, then, like and then our night. fucking scrim got chalked because <laughs> we're waiting for you guys to join up. And he goes, oh, "Check no, Twitter." Oh poor scrim. I know. Fucking Self watch. Oh, you, no. you watched that video and you didn't give a fuck. Selfish bastard. All right, we don't want to cry. We don't want to cry. You watched that video and you didn't give a fuck. I can't Wait, believe you're able you, to gather is... this huge group of people in your home, though. What do you mean? I mean. Are you talking about no, like get, like getting this to happen on any given day? Is hard. Of, talking about his friend group or the size of the home? Well, yeah, it was kind of like <laughs> both big. <laughs> it was I'm just saying, getting some of these people out is like pulling <laughs> teeth. Is what I'm saying. Right. Like getting when, you, when formal house. shows up, <laughs> something shit <gone> serious <laughs> <laughs> could be really bad They're or really yeah. good. But yeah, it was like uh, it was it was really bang bang because me and Hector, I remember, I think I'm pretty sure it was the same day we went out to Korean barbecue and we had like the final discussion. Like me and him, he was like, "Are you ready? To, are you ready? Are you sure?" Obviously, all the all the easy questions, <laughs> not easy hilarious. questions, but like all the, like the the just questions that come off top. And I was like, "Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm ready. I think it's the right time." And then he sent we sent the text to the group chat, and th then this was the same day, same night. It was like. It moved. It was basically like two days of like back and forth and craziness. So. Well, I just I remember getting the text and just being like, "This is like, this is just a once in a lifetime." I don't even know. Like, what no, the text I don't said. feel like driving to Frisco, but sure. Was it? it I don't Thank even think man. it said Seth is retired. I think they were like, "Well, people S thought." No one. I don't think the text said I like, "Yo, Seth is retiring tonight. He wants you to come." I think the it was like, was "Yo, worded, Seth's house." The way it was time. worded, I think people thought uh, that it was a, like a video for on? the end of the year. It said, yo, Seth's house with the time. That's yeah, it. I'm like, <laughs> just, and it, you know what's funny? Yeah, house, you're PM. Like, that's just like so many thoughts. Like, whoa. <laughs> tell you know what's funny about it? Troy Sender Michaels was still in our, in our chat. So we yeah. sent the chat and I was like, wait, Troy knows now. And I was like, I got to text Troy. You know, and I was, was like, Troy, so you hyped. can't say anything because Troy was still in there. <laughs> Troy was so <laughs> Troy was so hyped to get that knowledge. Oh, and no, and no, no one man. else knew anything. I, t I was like, Troy, you can't say anything. But it, but it was it came out so quick because I'm pretty sure we shot this and it came out the next day, if I remember correctly. That's what you, crazy. What do you uh? What, what do you miss most? Oh well, yeah, do you miss anything? Uh, I mean, yeah, of course. I miss I miss like the the team aspect more than more than anything because obviously like the past CODs weren't haven't been the best, so it's not like it's not like I'm retiring during Black Ops Two. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like I retired during MW Three. I'm okay with that. Well, what? All right, and this is the answer. This is honestly as possible. Is there any chance you'd ever come back? Now, no. So like zero percent, you're done. Yeah, no, I've seen the other side now. It's too nice. All right, stress free. I mean, it's not completely stress free because you're still worrying about. Well, there's just a bit more. There's doing. a bit more freedom now. The thing with competing is you have a group of people that depend on you to bring your best every single day. So unless you're personally really invested in it, like, and you want to progress every day, you're doing a disservice to your teammates and your organization and everybody who's rooting for you, because it really does take like the utmost. It takes passion and it takes like every single day 
bring in your best. And when you're doing it for 12 plus years, 15 years, it, it is very hard to bring that same level that like an 18 year old or 19 year old who'd never got a taste would bring. Yeah. So it is, it is, it, it is, it takes a lot of like resilience and yeah, love right. for it. Got to show respect to some of the OGs still out there, man. I mean, like the Glaster is, is number one now. I mean, he's, I mean, you sacrifice. You he's see, getting up there, man. And then you got to ta- like attach like kind of the generation before us is kind of now getting like to that point where they're getting older. Like Dylan's like, what, 26 now? 25, 26? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. And I guess here's my... So top four teams are c- kind of have this luxury. But if you're like five through nine and you're trying to compete with the top four teams, you kind of have to put the next... So you have to do more than just scrim. Atlanta Fays can afford to just scrim, and they're that good that they can maintain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whereas if you're five through nine trying to dethrone one of these teams, you have to play eights at night and put in the extra effort. So if you're in that five through... Or five through 12 slot and you want to improve, you have to sacrifice... Your relationships take a toll. Your social life, like your your physical fitness, if you want to go to the gym, like that was the biggest one for me. Is that physical fitness? Like people don't understand, like the schedule. And yeah, you can always make time, and you can wake up earlier. But then you're waking up earlier. We're obviously gamers. We're not NFL athletes. You're waking up at eight a.m. to try to run, to try to run before scrims, and then you're tired halfway through the scrims, like. It's 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 definitely a hard balance being an esports player, and I feel like that's why the shelf life of a lot of esports players isn't that long because it's fucking hard. Yeah, hard, bro, it's hard to take care of yourself. In like a match, take like care your brain your loved ones, is take racing. Care of your, hmm? it's and hard. like a fucking actual like hard match versus another good team, and bro, after like a best of five, you're mentally just physically, like not physically, bro. but like you're mentally just like, holy Dude. fuck, yeah. my mind is just like. Ugh. Well, yeah. no. Just need to lay down for a second. Yeah. I wish everybody could experience like being a pro or playing at the pro level, so, pro level, so you understand like the actual nuances to it. Because it's like you're making millisecond decisions nonstop, Every while also you're communicating to everything. So you're talking, your energy. It is draining. Granted, you're not sprinting yeah, for three it's miles, fun. but it is a it's, great time. It's, it's, it's a time of your lie. fucking life, is what it is. And just man, just like. The dope you get from like playing with someone for so long and you guys make a play and you guys didn't have to say anything or just, I just yeah. knew you were going to do that. So I did this. I have a story with APG where it was, this was in H2A um, right before finals of that year, like the worlds or whatever. Uh, me and APG were teaming and there was... Uh, game type lockout oddball where you like hold the oddball in this library and, like you can look out the window if people come in lower top and i had that i had the ball we were just scrimming and i had the ball there and they just like threw some fucking nades and i like kind of played it lazy and i died and he like called me out for that and i was like dude shut the fuck up like i'm never gonna die there again like this was just one stupid because like i just i, I died because i didn't give a fuck i played it lazy i died like mm-hmm. hop off <laughs> and we got into this like huge fight about it. I was like, fuck you. I don't want to team with you. I'm never teaming with you again. Like we got into a huge fight about it, but we were like best friends. So it's like, that's almost how we talk to each other. And then in finals or we get to the, uh, we get to worlds or whatever. And that exact situation comes up when we're playing CLG, we're down by like 150 seconds in oddball game one. And then I get the oddball in library, in the window, same exact uh, setup, and they could not break us because they kept trying to throw the nades. I'm dodging, fucking, trying to stay alive with the oddball. And I did such a good uh, job of staying alive. And I remember in that moment, our argument, and I, all in my mind was, I can't die here. Yeah, so I'm like yeah. jumping over nades, <laughs> and, it, and it worked. We ended up doing probably the biggest oddball comeback ever to, to win map one. But it was and it was just me with the oddball in there that whole time, just fucking jumping around, dodging nades and shit. So it's just like moments like that is so good to have with a teammate of like, like I think me and Brad even talked about it after. Like, dude, they were chucking so many nades. I was like, remember when we argued about that shit? And it was just one of those times where that you just like love to have with a teammate. It's like something we fucking worked on. Like that every actually one of came your teammates, into fruition in the future. Every one of your teammates, you have like a special 
like a something with something with them like you know which way you can like i know if i'm playing with ricky we're gonna be slow and methodical if i'm if i'm mere i'll take the front route i'll just bait for you i know you're gonna get two like shit like that you know what i'm saying it's just like i love that shit yeah. it's just i don't know i don't know how to ex really give like a deep explanation on it it's just the, the privilege of being able to compete like because esports you can be playing at 24 plus you can't in any other like sport or competition like unless you go pro your your competition kind of edge like, ends like when college ends kind of like whether you're playing basketball or whatever unless you play like a rec league or I'm, there's competitive leagues but like yeah, you, to be able like to compete at the ending. highest level for to be like 30 31 is like there's there's really nothing that compares to it. Like the story you just told made me feel shit because I'm just like that's like that's that's the best feeling in the world right there. Yeah. It's like having like an argument like that, then getting a win and like dapping your teammate up just, and like it's all smiles and you can do no wrong and look at this squad. APG me formal lethal. I love that team. Then the formal came. Was formal playing COD before this? I know formal went to this event. And I think he was playing COD, but then he was invited to this invitational event with like all the best players. He felt like the man. We won this, and then he just goes over to Ghost. He felt like the man. He was playing. I mean, COD, he, he, he kind of was the fucking back. man. He, yeah, yeah. I think he was. He was already playing COD. So he was on. Went TK? to this event without touching Halo. We win the event, and then he, he just insane. goes. He goes back to COD. <laughs> oh, he was. He was probably so fucking cocky around this time. Just he thought he was the man, which he was the fucking man. Switched over to COD and then started dominating there. Good times. I I I, I always say uh, the only not the only part, but the biggest part that I miss is just the camaraderie of a team and having like three other people that you wake every up every day. You have the same goal. You know what time each other's gonna be on kind of have each other's backs your shit talking to other people their shit talking y'all but like y'all are just a good fucking team and you see like where you start and then like how much you start to improve and yeah that was that was my favorite part of playing hell yeah yeah man the good old cry, man cry I, personally i was done i was i was good so yeah, you're he, he, you're he's, different he's you're, still he still wants to to well, play and well because you've accomplished more than i have so like you you've you've tasted getting a ring you've won enough for a lifetime where it's like me yeah. for example i honestly haven't unfortunately you know i haven't i haven't won a ring i haven't done as much as i would have liked to so i do think for you it's you really? are like scum souls have two you are an exception to like you have won so much like your legacy is so cemented as the best if not one of the best in the world undoubtedly so it, it it is different for you than most because it's like, what what else can you do? What else do you you've done it all? Need? Like you've you've done oh, yeah. it. You know I what mean? I mean? So I, mean, I understand. I, kinda, why I, I had so a, I understand I had why a sour done. taste in my mouth after Halo Five because I've I got on the best team I had been on in Halo Five. Like Halo Five started off with a shit team because like I think Ace left, so it was me, Flame Sword, and Assault. Then we just weren't. Then Stellar joined. Then Stellar left quickly. We it was just shit. So, but by the time, uh, at, but I was like, I'm, I'm like, I have great moments in this game. Like I feel like I could get like top four, top three. I don't know if I'm winning. I ain't winning a fucking event in that game. But at the end of Halo Five, I finally got a good team. It was like me, Ace, APG, and Hines. And then, and then we got dropped from Optic for the team that ended up winning every single event, like Lethal, Frosty, Snakebite, Royal 2, or whatever. So I kind of, and then that forced me sort of into retirement, but I was like, okay with it, because I did hate Halo 5. It wasn't fun. It wasn't my best game either, but I would like, I wanted to see my potential. Halo 5 was the crack one, right? I, the I wanted, and shit? Yeah. Like, did they have, was there sliding? With the pistol starts? Yeah, pistol starts. Yeah. Fucking, you can float in the air a little bit. Crazy, Ground, right? pound, shit. Yeah, that's when... Uh yeah, Shotzi. That's when Shotzi started that, going. That crazy. was Shotzi's come up. He was we were actually play I remember Flame Sword asking me, yo, we could try running with Falcated and Shotzi. I was like, I'll run with Falcated. I don't know. I don't even know who Shotzi is. I Damn. I like I've heard of the name, like maybe randomly match him in matchmaking. Damn. But I was I just didn't know him. I was like, dude, this is I was like, are we down this bad? 
<laughs> like, and then we picked up just like two completely average fucking pros, and then just placed like top Who? twelve. <laughs> well, actually, I'll just say their name: fucking Lifestyle and Chaser. <laughs> Lifestyle and Gary. Yeah, yeah, Gary. <laughs> and like, I mean, I don't think they would give a fuck. Like, they know what it was. Oh, and shit. not to say that we even—it's not like we picked them up and like me and Flame are dominating and they suck. Like, we were just a bad fucking team. And I don't know. I don't know what my fucking dude. What was is. that team we played? Uh, what that event was? It AW. Which one? Didn't we team for an event? Yeah, what AW. Called? Yeah, what was it when called? you raged at me for I kept I kept trying to flank underground with ten and thirty. It was me, you, fellow Tegan. It was versus it was versus them on that one map. I kept going underground, and Dude, he goes, he "Methods, just... stop trying to fucking flank." He kept overextending, trying oh, to. Oh yeah, just, yeah like... stop trying to OE. Yeah, I did just... throw that map bad. We were actually what pretty you, good. Yeah, oh, what did we play? Top I was six. I'm about a UFC <laughs> fighter, and he wanted to fight me because I was a prick. Remember that? <laughs> the UFC guy on the team and I was like who the fuck are you talking to he was like who the fuck are you talking to and I was like oh shit UFC wait, guy did we play yeah. top six wait what event what was this you about to get your ass wait y'all team together wait, yeah, we, wait what we, game was this we placed pro together who was y'all's team me and him went pro me oh him uh, you two, Ricky, funk and me replays oh no me replays methods and heist no it wasn't Chris it was me you uh fluff and no, uh, that that wasn't our first pro on when we were in pro was it me you it was either me you funk and law me you me, lawless, lawless and fluff fluff or funk was it fluff 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 we, we beat uh fear we pro oh no then... this is when bose frauded me bose knew he couldn't play and then he, he just lied to me but this is this is my comeback game right here it's supposed to be me you study naga and you're like oh actually i can't play it i said i can't play or where he was bullshitting and then what no go ahead and then uh yeah, I, I got blessed this year because Rise couldn't go to the Montreal event in like that dungeon. You you, you guys didn't go there because uh, Yuli didn't have his passport. So my team went and I was dropping 40 every map and then Rise picked me up and then I got blessed back in the league. You know I competed in Ghost? And I was the fucking man for a event. stint. Really? I think I Top got like dog. fourth round losers or something. <laughs> we played, we played <laughs> number we one pick in the finals. Yeah, the bar. You did? Hell, hell yeah. Well, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was Ooh, bar down. With infantry? Yeah. <laughs> You'll discredit by any was. means necessary. That gun was insane. Weapon detachments. That gun was Dude, nuts. That Waste was like, wall banging yeah, bombs. Saint Marie, just getting freebies. Oh, it was so getting good. Three pieces. I had gunless, killing everything. I felt like the man. But I was <laughs> going to say, just smokes seeing, like it's CS. But what, while Wait, you were saying Aqua? that, I didn't want to interrupt you. But Aqua? when, he, when oh. you were saying that, I was like, I saw that tweet and I was like, damn, man, like that. That style of like COD competitive is so good. Like the best. We're teaming. We need a sponsor. We need a team. Like we uh, need someone to fund us. Hit me up. Oh, dude, I'm <laughs> looking for org to represent. Was, uh, if we could get that with current salaries, think? that'd be money. Oh no, I was talking to uh, I was talking to Dignitas, and they had me sending every single map we played to them. I think it was I think it was Dignitas, and uh, dude, I felt like the man. I was going through it forty plus every game. I was the top dog. I was the fucking man of challengers in that game. Then I came to the league, ran amok, and then just slowly but surely just... <laughs> I was still good at the end, but we all know what happened. I don't want to revisit it, but... Uh, I'll take the blame good on times. that one, man. I was actually... I'm not sure what's wrong with me. I think I'm, I'm like the most nostalgic person in the world, but last night I was thinking about Columbus again. Just like the team workouts after playing. Like I, It was just the golden era of Call of Duty. I, I actually think it was my favorite era of Call of Duty competitive just because of... And I, maybe I talked about this too much, but every single player in Columbus, everyone's going to that lifetime gym together. You can go to the movies. If you're not playing, you're in the pro lounge eating top tier fucking the catering. Pro they actually, the catering was going crazy. It was it was the golden era of Call of Duty. They I'll had, stand like, by it. Cheese and shit. Dude, that yeah. guy. It was one guy. It was great. It was, it was one guy the in the truck bubble? in the back. Huh? It was the cod bubble. It was the best time of the, it. Was it was by far the best experience I would say World for War competitive II was Call like, of Duty. That was probably like the one of the best times. Yeah. Just because our team was vibey as shit. We had the vibiest team. It didn't translate, but we had the vibey team. Yeah. Team was vibey as shit. We would go to dinners. Like, it was great. Kona. We had Coach TP. He had, a, he had a pamphlet with rules, and we the never followed rules. him. Never followed always, him. Always play a trade. Uh, don't over chow. <laughs> Teep, funny as hell. I love Teep. Uh, it was a good time, man. But just the, just the overall camaraderie of the entire community. Now everything's so split. It's like each franchise has their own thing. Like New York's doing their team workouts in this room and they're staying at that hotel and this team's at that hotel. There's no more like overall community 
togetherness, I feel like. What a fucking roster. Look at me. Look at this. I look at this roster and I feel like there That's, is potential. We were good. I've always oh, thought stop. Octane was fucking good. Every time they, I, I always said like Octane or Clayster was like my Halo playstyle. Always in the mm -hmm. right positions. Everybody shit on this down, team was hitting their shots, game. playing Who would smart. I compare myself to today. Today? In today's oh dude, I'm I'm, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll look at your <laughs> yeah, That shit was hilarious. Wait, what? This picture when you said foo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that like out there or something? Oh, I forget where I did that. No, I, <laughs> I wish my face was better in that because if if I had like a cooler face, that picture is so fucking hard. Because like th that, you look fucking like you're just roaring, and I look like a fucking idiot. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> that's comedy uh, in today's day and age I would compare you right now I'm trying to think what player I can compare you to accurately Shotzi yeah, yeah. Hmm? I'm Shotzi. not Shotzi no fucking speaking of the devil what the hell that's so weird fucking diamond con that Ooh. guy's great I got one for you Re go ahead go ahead yeah, go ahead <laughs> say it I can't. I can't. Come I know. On. I know exactly who you're gonna say. You scumbag. <laughs> you know who I'm gonna say. You're too. an asshole. I, oh, My favorite please. player last year. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you after. He's okay. a prick. I don't know. Um, know. Who's y'all's? Who's y'all's favorite player that you just like? You're just like certain situations. You're just like, holy fuck, he played that smart. Or like, I like like back in the day. Besides I our used to, I used to like watching neighbor. Because he was super good at sniping, and he would just like sneak around. Probably My favorite player to watch, honestly, not on our team, is Hydra. It's Hydra, yeah. Mine yeah. is probably Simp. Mine's Hydra. That's a good pick too. I mean, I love watching. I Simp just think when like Hydra's POV oh is gosh. nice. I don't think people understand what Hydra was doing last year. Like Hydra at champs against teams like Phase, I was like, he is like by himself destroying. I was good like, what the two, fuck like... am I watching? Like it was like, it was honestly a spectacle to watch. Was. The kid's pretty talented. It was it was dirty. It's crazy to play like that good against Phase. top teams. Yeah, yeah. Like it's that's crazy. so hard. Like, you to have do. to be have insane. No, oh, <laughs> you got to be pretty. It is like you have to be you insane have to, be to do it consistent. You have to be turned. How are they always so turned? This Phase fucking squad. You fucking have to be. Like it's just in there. He's blood just young. Line. He wakes up turned. Like, they love this shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hydra's still young. Like, you I feel like, like there's, like, up. no... They he just love this game yeah, like, shit. I can't I wait to play. I wake up, I'm like... Well, no. Well, uh, well, like, he doesn't do... The, Hydra doesn't do this what shit. What time do we got to scrim? Yeah, yeah, Well, no, yeah. the difference... Well, He's hopping up out of bed doing a backflip. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> that ass. These teams have, like... The top teams have such good team, like, culture. Where, like, New York, even though they just won champs in three tournaments, they still have 9 a.m. team workouts get Wait, penalized if you're late who? uh yeah like like the new york culture and even phase phase was scrimming a day or two after christmas it's like they just have this culture where it's like it's one thing to be at the top and it's one thing to stay at the top and these teams know how to um develop a culture that keeps them at the top like they're still outworking teams while also being the most talented players in the world so that's why i think that's why you see consistency among the top teams it's like they're still putting in that extra effort, even though they maybe don't have to, but they still hold themselves accountable, which yeah. is good to see. Yeah, I think I saw Scrap talking about, like, there's some clip. He was talking about, like, the mid to lower teams. It's like, these motherfuckers don't even have, this is what he was saying, like, these motherfuckers don't even have, like, team chemistry. They don't talk to each other. They get they do their scrims, and then they just get the fuck like, off. They don't play back, hates with each the other. Day, we they do don't live shit. with each other. They don't. Like they've we'll never scrim. met each other. Like, like we'll scrim back in the day. Get up, like stop scrimming, and then go play wagers with a different team and shit. That's some back in the day shit. Like you're getting paid to do this shit. The big bucks better be fucking playing wagers with one of your teammates after or something. Like I just think so chill, many chill players a Skype call like for three something, hours. Like like, and I like so they got to, you know anything. I don't think people realize the reality check. Like like look at someone like Temp. Temp has been a staple in the CDL, and now he finds himself in challengers. It's one of those things like you don't know what you have till it's gone. Whereas like, bro, if if you if you're a player that isn't considered one of the best, you should be doing everything possible to stick around because you're also sacrificing probably college. Like they're really the backup plan to be a 
to a pro Call of Duty player is very scarce because it's like, what the fuck do you do after? It's been your whole life. So I think people take it for granted and don't put their, like, dude, the 100%. fact, if you're a 6 through 12 team and you're not trying to play BPL or 8s or wagers and you just want to get off and just coast, it's like, I, you're yeah, going to regret gonna it. Work. Like, you're going to regret it. Like, I, I like seeing Kenny join Optic and I just see a YouTube video every day. Like, Kenny's right. And, and Kenny's, do Kenny's yeah. one dominating yeah, so Seth really said, good. Seth always says that. Well, Taking advantage of his advantage of situation. I mean, why wouldn't you? Yeah. That's that shit I like seeing. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the podcast. Thank you all very much. Hope you guys enjoyed episode 158. We will see you all in the next one.